Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome back to more Camp Enderwood. This is the free Minecraft DLC that came out fairly recently, and uh, we've played three videos of Camp Enderwood so far. You can find those in the playlist linked in the description. While you're down there, consider hitting like and subscribe. In the previous little episode of our adventure around the camp, we completed the mountain parkour here, and in today's video, we're going to continue with exploring. We're going to go ahead and take a quick trip back to the main camp, though, and take a peek at the map. So we've covered the main camp here, the red dot. That was in um, episode one. The swamp here and the abandoned camp was episode two. Mount Enderwood was here in episode three. So we're going to go to Block Nest Spotting and the Director's Cabin in today's video. And then uh, I think we'll cover the Deep Lagoon and the Lighthouse in a coming video. So let's head back to the mountain because we always like to walk to our next location. We like to explore the environment. And there is usually a uh, custom music that plays right now we have like the default minecraft music um but usually there's custom music you know i think i might be able to trigger it actually if i go back to the main camp let's try going back to the main camp real quick um and i hope that will will cause it to to go off generally i just have to walk in maybe walk back out come on somewhere around here there's gonna be a trigger for it somewhere around here eh Come on, play the music. Music time, music time. Uh, for real, how can I get this to, to play? Eh, whatever. We'll just keep going, I'm sure it'll come back at some point. We could probably do like an activity or something to get it started, but let's just go back to the mountain and we can start uh, walking. Nothing wrong with a bit of Minecraft music to enjoy the day. So it looks to me like there's a fishing spot over here. I don't really care about a fishing spot. We've done fishing before. That looks like that takes us back to the main camp area. We fished in episode two, and um, we fished in the main swamp fishing spot. It looks like down here there's just another little fishing area. And uh, we'll see if this mini game is any different. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same. Oh, skip, do you wanna fish? Okay, yeah, oop, oh, I need that back, skip. Yeah, you just go like this, and it's a lot like fishing in Stardew Valley. Oh. Great, and I caught the devil. Alright, all done. Thank you very much. Now I have two fishing rods and chocolate. Great. Okay. Let's go ahead and carry forth then. Um, although actually, wait, this was the block nest spotting, wasn't it? So, can I... Maybe I can drive that little boat. Let's see. Because so I can go over here. Block nest, I assume, is... Uh, supposed to... Oh, shoot! There it is! It's Blockness. Oh, sorry, Blockness. What'd you say? I'm hungry. Please feed me some cod. Yes. Well, you sense this immediate connection with this beast and the image is forming in your head. Cod. Does it want cod? Give. Uh, the creature spits a marshmallow in your direction. Why does it have marshmallows? Oh, so you can trade your, your fishing uh, cod here. The cod you catch from fishing with the Blockness monster. But the Blockness monster has gone. It disappeared. How did it do that? Is it icy? I guess it makes sense because it's kind of close to the mountain. So I wonder if you can uh, find the block nest monster just sort of around here and continuously trade it uh, some of your your fish. Makes sense. Makes se I mean, it doesn't really make sense that it would give you a marshmallow, but it makes sense that you can um, you can trade it fish, of course. And it's cool that it's a friendly creature. You know, we wouldn't want it to be unfriendly because that would be sad. I'm curious if we can drive this boat. This boat looks a lot like the boat that we saw at the beginning of the of the map when we first came in uh, to camp. Let's see. Let's drive it up. Oh, no can do. The boat is not drivable. Can't drive the boat. That's okay. We'll just have to press on. You know, there's that like a uh, that guy who rates games in terms of if you can uh, pet the dogs in the game. You cannot ride the boat in uh in camp enderwood okay so i think at this point we're gonna need to actually go back to the main camp and head out uh over here to the right initially we left to the left of the camp this should bring us back into the camp in the first place and then take us around to another spot yeah the director's cabin's over that way you know i really want to get the music playing though let me try doing an activity let's do some trampoline trampoline was fun 
and maybe we can get the um the activity to go again or the music to go because i haven't changed any settings or anything i mean i plugged in my controller but that's like fairly normal i would like the uh the music to play i think it's a pretty important aspect granted there's like two music tracks and we have heard like all of them already but still also oh my high score does anyone remember what my high score was it'd be from episode one or episode two maybe i will say doing this with casual minecraft music is a uh, a bit of an interesting choice a bit of an interesting choice but that's okay I know um, some Minecraft maps have like a way to straight up block out any music that isn't the custom music. And I kind of wish they had done that here. But that's, you know, not a big deal. We only have 10 seconds left. I don't remember how many uh, bells we got the first time. And, uh, oi. Oh, final score was... Oh, I have half a heart. That's crazy. Okay, so the sounds do work. I'm gonna die. Where did I sleep last? Camp. <laughs> yeah, in a cabin out here in the mountains. Okay, let's go back to the main camp. And now let's go ahead and explore over here to the director's cabin. I don't suspect the director's cabin will have too, too much for us, in all honesty. I feel like the director's cabin is more of like a, hey, come take a peek, you know? Not really like a, hey, come stay for a while, come do an activity. Unless the director's cabin just has like, I don't know an infinite stash of like money or something or like all the confiscated camp items like everyone's cell phone or something i don't know i was i will note though there's like scratch marks on the trees so maybe there's like a bear or some other some other dangerous creature coming out here with scratch uh whoops i the scratch marks are paintings I heard someone describe this map as like the gravity falls of Minecraft, and uh, I kind of agree with that. I think that's a fairly, uh, fairly respectable take. I think that makes a lot of sense. Oh, is that custom music? Huh? I don't think it is. I do want to stick to the beaten path though. Oh, new NPC. Oh my gosh. I thought that was a, like a, I thought his hat was his face. I thought his hat was his face. Okay, the director's cabin is up this way. This is the old man. You, 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 you young whippersnapper. What are you doing here? You see that marks on the trees? Something's out there. Something fierce. You better watch out. Thank you, old man. I appreciate it. He's, of course, referring to these marks on the trees. Well, we're going to have to figure that out, hopefully, in the morning. Because right now it is uh, becoming dark. And dark, of course, is not swell with Minecraft RTX. That is, of course, why the, the game looks like this. I am running regular Bedrock Edition, uh, but with an RTX texture pack. Which, if you're curious about Minecraft RTX, you can leave me a comment, and I will explain Minecraft RTX to you in the comments. Can I make a boat yet? No, I'm missing an anchor. I have everything except the anchor. I have the hull. Oh, I have, I have the hull, the mast, the painting. Oh, it's a painting easel. I thought that was the sail. I thought that was the sail. I thought you needed like a boat, hull, a mast, a sail, like a ship wheel or something, but no. Okay, Star Child is up here. Very cool, very cool. Oh, let's go ahead and take a quick nap. Oh, locked. The camp director sure loves his privacy, but is he hiding something in there? I think he is, but let's go ahead. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's use the Star Child to go to the main cabin real quick. Main camp, that is. We'll take a quick rest in a bed, and then we'll use her to teleport back, and we'll make it daytime. That way you guys can see uh, on the footage and it's not too dark or anything. That's the way to go, I think. That's what I think is the right thing to do. There we go. A bright morning here over Camp Enderwood. And now we can head over and queue up on this adventure, whatever this adventure may be. It's going to be an other area. We're going to want to go to the director's cabin, which is, I guess, oh, he's like just the cabin. Okay. So we got to see if there's a way to sneak in. It does look like there is a way to sort of pseudo get in. We can kind of peek through. Interesting. But I want to get in, you know? That's going to be the ticket, I think. This looks to be it. Uh oh. Oh, no. 
Hey, the music's back. Wow. Took it like 10 minutes, but there's music now. Oh, okay. Yeah, we gotta get in there. I think that's gonna be the way to do it. Oh, wait, no, because is that still... Those are still slabs. I thought those were trapdoors or signs. Well, how am I gonna know if he's hiding something in there? I can't get in. I need to unlock the door. Hey, I want in! Star Child, what should I do? How do I get in? Is there even something in there? Can I like... No, this isn't... What do I need to do? Is there a hole in the roof, maybe? Would it be possible for me to get on the roof somehow? I think it might be. Question, of course, is... Is the roof useful in any way? Maybe I can't get on the roof. Ow. Come on, surely the cap... Captain's cabin. The director's cabin has something going on, right? Is he a werewolf? He might be a werewolf. Guys, I would put smart money on him being a werewolf, honestly. Oh, come on. I can make this jump. I can do it with a jump. I can do it with a jump. You just have to, like, crouch over to the edge of the block and then not only jump up one, but around one. That is a possible parkour jump, though. I will say, I am no parkour expert, but I know for a fact this is a possible jump if you just get the right uh, corner. Ah, boom. Nope. Come on. Ah, boom. Nope. Come on. Ah, boom. That was... We got the jump. We didn't get the, the angle. Ah, boom. Nope. Okay. Hey! Got it. Great. Okay. Now I can get on the roof. I'm on the roof! Okay, what does this do for me, though? Star Child, is there nothing in the director's cabin? I need the data. I need the- I need the details. I'll tell you what, if we can't get in, I have a second copy of this world that I use for taking thumbnail pictures. So why don't we go ahead and swap over to the thumbnail picture world, and we'll go inside in spectator mode, and we'll see if there's anything. Let's go ahead and do that, because I'm curious what is in this cabin. Alright, I can do you one better than spectator mode, how about proper creative? Let's fly over to here. And we'll just bust in, because I am curious about what is going on here. I will say, I will break in through the back, though, because I don't want to ruin what is inside. No, it looks like it is actually empty. So, the answer is no, he isn't hiding anything in here. Unless it's, like, related to... I don't know, maybe... Maybe we have to come here at nighttime, and he's, like, the werewolf or something? That's the only thing I can think of. Because there's no actual way to get in, it looks. Um, because there, these doors are, uh, they are solid doors. Huh, interesting. Okay, what if it's, uh, midnight? Let's try setting the time to midnight. We'll do time set midnight. Alright, middle of the night, previous time of it all. How about now? Is there anything we can do now? It doesn't seem so. It appears this might just be a, um, a little house to, to poke around in. Well, it looks like it is just a normal house. I, I don't know why. I mean, it's clear that, like, he's got something going on. You know what this reminds me of? In the, the Quarry, which is a, a super massive game. It's sort of in the style of Until Dawn. It's rated a M for Mature, so if you are not an M for Mature audience, don't Google the game. But I will tell you that the plot of that game, spoilers in 3, 2, 1, is that the uh, the camp director is a werewolf. And so that's kind of like the vibe I'm getting from this, is like, the camp director is a werewolf, but I don't actually know if that's what we are meant to take away or not. The old man down there seems to kind of hint at that, and the star child saying like, maybe he has something in there. Um... You know, right here, uh, it's where the director lives. He really seems to value his privacy. That sort of seems to me like maybe that's what it's hinting at, but I'm not sure. Leave your guys' theories in the comments section. Uh, but that is actually going to wrap up today's video. We explored both Block Ness's lagoon and the director's cabin. We went into creative mode to take a sneak peek behind the scenes. And overall, I think this was a fairly successful endeavor. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe. And tell your friends about my channel if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me when you guys spread my videos around. And I will catch you guys all back here next time for my next video.
Until then, as always, take care.